is one dollar seed mix, the wildflower mix from a dollar shop, which is a dollar seventy-five cent. It's no longer a dollar. Is it worth it? Is it worth purchasing? So here is the package I bought, and I sprinkled this about two and a half months ago, and I basically sprinkled them by the border for this fence, and starting to grow finally. So I have Bartula's button. And these are very beautiful colors. They're like bluish, purplish. I'm colorblind, so I can't quite tell exactly, but it's there. And here is another small white flower. I can't quite tell what, what that is. And there's a whole bunch of name listed behind it, but I don't really understand, which I will show you later. Um, it's basically sprinkled all over the fence. And it seems like most of the flowers that's listed in here are blooming. Maybe a few of them aren't. This red one right here, it's really pretty. Um, if you guys know the name of this red flower, let me know. And I have right here, it's slightly in a different color, less of, more like a more red than a fuchsia, which it looks like a fuchsia in the, the package. Here's more Bachelor's buttons, and they come in, I would say, three different colors. That's what it looks like, at least. What is missing in here is a zinnia. I do have the zinnia that I planted myself alongside the border, and I will show you which is all the way to the left. This is my own personal zinnia seed. And you see a zinnia as well in this package. Um, but I'm not seeing anything growing from this package. So even though my own personal zinnia is growing, if the package from this uh, zinnia, I mean zinnia from this package is not showing, that it means maybe it's not really there or it just didn't grow. So here is Marigold and these are the separate package from a dollar shop. And uh, I don't unfortunately see much uh, much of these um, marigold growing from this mixed package. Maybe I see like one or two, but honestly, I don't mind spending $1.75 and mixing with other $1.75 seed. So it's all right. So here is Coreopsis. It's not blooming yet, but there are a whole bunch of Coreopsis. I'm gonna do that uh, dead head. I'm gonna tip, um, I'm gonna take off some of the flowers so it will shoot from the side. So here is a list of the flower seed that should be in there, which is, I don't really understand it because they're, <laughs> they're using a special names. So I am not gonna be able to tell you exactly how many was in it, but just by looking at the flowers and just looking how pretty they are, I feel like a dollar 75 cent is worth um, purchasing and uh, I enjoy seeing them grow um, another things I want to mention is that I didn't I did not sprinkle this uh, seed on a really nice soil the soil I have here is uh, Arizona has a clayish very very compact soil and I only sprinkle tiny bit of a compost on top so considering the soil is not a high quality i feel like the wildflowers are growing you know into a, to the level that i want them to grow it's not tiny maybe next year i will plant the seed on the actual garden bed with a nice uh, nice mulch and see if it's gonna grow better so that was my review. Next year, I will be absolutely be buying these packages again, some of the wild flower mix, as well as some of the um, uh, marigold package. And I hope you enjoy it. If you buy this, get it, get some and enjoy them growing. All right. Have a wonderful day. Happy gardening.